So, hey guys, my name is Akman and welcome back to Firm Test Technology channel. So today, I got a digital multimeter with me, but it's not a normal digital multimeter from Fluke. It's called as a 17B plus digital multimeter. So if you want to see what inside the box, so follow me. Let's go. Oh, that's quite good. Mm. This. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and that's I open it. So I put the box here. Okay. As usual, the user manual by flow. So it's very important from the manufacturer to apply and to give the user manual so that the user can be guided by the manufacturer. Okay. Next thing is the TL75 test slip by Flu. This is normal test slip. Other than that, supply you with a battery. If you're not happy with this kind of battery, you can change it. This is the Type K thermocouple. So why Fluke provide for the 17B plus? We'll see what it can do with this thermocouple. And inside plastic, this is the 17B plus digital multimeter. So here we have the 17B plus digital multimeter by Fluke. So, what, what is has a feature? So, as you can see, it's, it is a reliable digital multimeter for your DMA applications on your labs and also on your workspace. For example, you have an electronic workspace and also you have a lab that check for the simple voltage and also current. So this is most reliable for you because why? It's very lightweight. It's less than one kilogram in weight. It's very small size, and also it has an IP40 rating for you. And then it has a standard wheel design and functions of multimeter, but with extra, as you can see here, it has extra temperature and also. Uh, relative range and frequency so if if you put in a simple digital multimeter yes but it can give you more so first of all I want to check the connections is it the test lead is okay or not so as you can see it has a two different port here one is for voltage and one is for ampere and milli ampere why because he has a fuse with a 10 ampere fuse so as a safety if more than 10 ampere it will break down the fuse and the current will not show all right so we change so as you can see i put on the ohm or the impedance so when I change it so you can see it is a buzzer display here so right now you can test for the buzzer so you can you can also change from buzzer to others like this is a loop or continuity and this is a mega kilo ohm and this is also ohm no buzzer so you can change from the ampere milli ampere micro ampere and also temperature so the temperature you cannot use by this this is not a thermocouple so i take it out put it inside and 
Fluke provide you in this 17B2 AB plus provide you with the thermocouple type K so it can range up to 400 degrees Celsius and the connections as you can see is a red and black here so you put on these two and you can show the temperature on this tip so if I put on this tip so the temperature will rise up so I have a good friend here that always be in my video a cup of water <laughs> so what cup of water do the water inside is hot water and the cup itself will be hot but if I put on the surface of the cup it shows you only 32 degrees Celsius if I put inside of the cup can go up to 58.3 degrees Celsius other than that 17B plus also has a over voltage indicator so right now I doesn't have the right tools to test it but when you test with the overshoot of the voltage which means this indicator has a 1000 volt maximum so if you shoot over the 1000 the indicator here will blink in red and the buzzer will turn on so it shows you that it's an overshoot of voltage in the system okay that's the features that 17B plus digital multimeter will provide you and Fluke give a differential of products and also figures on their difference of set of multimeters so I hope it helps you for more info and also for more product reviews and if you want to ask any questions you can leave us a comment down below and if you like our content you can like this this video and you can subscribe to our channel to see more and you can look back at our old videos all right that's all for me thank you bye bye